March 23, 2014, the Till Death Law was enacted in order to keep the sanctity of marriage, abolishing the right to divorce and have any sexual encounter with anyone other than their partner. Suicide and homicide rates are at an all-time high. We have followed a troubled married couple in account of these events. This is their story. So tell me, how are you guys doing? It seems like we make a lot of progress every time we meet. Just peachy, Doc. It's great to hear, Jeff. What? We actually think this is working out for us. Great. How are you, Beth? Yeah. We're doing good. All right. Well, you guys can set up your appointment for next week with Jen. Did you really put your hand on mine? I mean, come on, Beth. You make uh, me sick sometimes. What? What? I make you sick? Don't start with me, Jeff. I hate you. Well, Jeff and I have been married for about 15 years. Um, we met in college and got married right after graduation. We were once a happy couple who had planned on having a family in the future. Well, she did. Shut up. You know, and then one day we just became unhappy with each other. You know, like the flame had gone out in our relationship, you know? Yeah. And then about a year ago, I'd say our relationship became... Oh, what's the word? The word is strained. Yes! Yes, that's it. Strained. Wait, no, no, that's that's not it. Yeah, it is. No, no, that's not it. Why can't you just admit when you're wrong? Look, excuse me, mother... Look, who do you think you're talking to? This? This is why we can't do this anymore. This same attitude! Go to hell, Jeff! Already there. Ugh! The butt on that chick was unbelievable. Isn't that what you said about the 15 other women you've harassed and lusted over in the last five months? Which has cost us over a thousand dollars? Do not put this on me. What? I'm not the one who slept with the, with the guard. What, what is that? Or the pool boy. You went skinny him with the, with the pool boy. You just can't keep your goddamn pants. I hate you! I love you too. Oh, yep. I hate him with a passion. God, he's such an ass. Really? I, I, I can't do Man's this. Are you f***ing kidding me? I need to be f***ing. I'm reading. Hello? This relationship has been over for a while. God, what did I do to deserve this? No. Gotta practice, I, I can't, I can't stand you. I hate you! Why? Why can't I just be free of him? <sighs> Beth, you in there? Beth? Hello? What? Do you Never mind. Do you see what I mean? Okay. So, tell me, who wears the pants in the relationship? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? Um. What? You think... You think she is the one leading the relationship that I follow her? Is that what you think? No, 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 that's not what... No, that's not what I think, sir. No, 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 that is exactly what you think. Well, my mama didn't raise no punk Let me show you what I... Sir, sir, please sit down, sir. <laughs> what happened to you guys? Last time I saw you, you seemed happy, seemed like everything was going great. Huh? I felt like swallowing a cyanide capsule the last session we had. I wish you had. I can't be with him anymore. I want to be free, Doc. No, I need to be free. And this isn't helping. Till death do us part. Those are the words you guys said to each other. And you know, you're gonna have to live with it, you guys.
Wow. Talk about reactions. Way to go, Beth. Total BF on the doctor. Good job. I'm glad you guys could make it. Judging from our last visit, I've asked the court to extend your counseling for another two years. Great. <laughs> Sounds just great. Wonderful, Doc. Really. I'm sure we're going to make a lot of progress in the months to come. And we're going to bring the flame back into this relationship. All right, well, make your next appointment with Jen out front uh, for next week, okay? Great. Although this story ends in tragedy, we hope you can learn something from this experience. Here are three steps you can take to help your marriage. One, be honest with your assigned marriage counselor. Two, treat your spouse like you still had that spark of love in your relationship. Three, if having suicidal or homicidal thoughts, stop, take a deep breath, and count to 10. <laughs>